transportation is a major part of modern life. So where are we going and how? We were lucky enough to speak with Patrick Mandapaka of the HGAC to find out. Uh, for those who are not familiar with um, Houston Galveston Area Council or um, HGAC, uh, we are a regional forum of um, a cooperative action by local governments in 13 county region and um, we're created by uh, state of Texas and functions defined by state and local governments include uh, Area Agency on Aging, Job Training, uh, Gulf Coast 911 District, uh, HGAC by all these are very vital programs. In addition to that, the most uh, critical topic we're going to talk about today is uh, transportation. So our Houston Galveston Area Council is also a metropolitan planning organization. Um, it's uh, designated by governor in 1974 as uh, MPO. Um, and the Metropolitan Planning Organization includes um, eight counties, 6.7 million residents, uh, two TxDOT Department of Transportation districts, over 120 local governments, and uh, some of the uh, largest ports um, in the Gulf Coast. We have four deep water ports in the um, in in our region within the eight county area. Um, so uh, that includes. Uh, the uh, Brazoria County, Fort Bend County, Waller, Montgomery, Liberty Chambers, Galveston, and Harris County. Um, and we provide uh, a metropolitan planning area um, as part of that, uh, the MPO, Metropolitan Planning Organization, provides services such as long-range transportation planning. So we currently have a long-range transportation plan for 2045. Um, and very quickly, we'll be uh, start working on 2050 plan, uh, which is very exciting. So um, with this uh, changing uh, trends in transportation today, uh, this year has been really uh, interesting and special for everyone. Um, and uh, similar trends are uh, being reflected in transportation as well. Uh, we had a uh, steep decline in uh, vehicle miles traveled uh, when uh, we had uh, uh, emergency declaration back in uh, March and April timeframe. The, uh, the vehicle miles traveled have steeply dropped to around 20% of pre-COVID. But then since then, it has been quickly uh, popping up to 70, 80% levels. So people are driving a lot more uh, since then. Uh, the transit ridership though, it is still lagging behind in the region. Um, and uh, and the, the more positive part is the bicycle ridership. So we have some bicycle counters um, all around our region, and we see that there's 400% uh, or 300% increase in bicycle ridership um, in, in some of the counter locations we see. So uh, people are definitely bicycling more, um, and, uh, and that is a very positive trend, and we hope to capitalize going forward um, after uh, COVID gets resolved, hopefully in 2021. Mr. Mandapaka has much more to share with us, so please join us next week for the second part of this series. For Stafford CSI, this is Randall Williams.